Hey everybody, this is Matt McCoy from Loop Community. I want to just talk to you about using multi-tracks in Ableton. First thing you want to do is let's make sure we have all of our preferences set right. So let's go to Live and go to Preferences. And then go to Record Warp Launch. And you'll see a setting here called Auto Warp Long Samples. Make sure that that's turned off. If that's turned off, then you're all set to go. You want to make sure you do that before you drag any files in. Otherwise, you can get a little bit messed up. So, we're going to drag a multi-track in here in Ableton. And I'm going to, I downloaded Happy Day from Loop Community. And we can see it says Happy Day. It's in the key of C and 140 BPM. We'll open that folder up. And now we've got a bunch of audio files. And basically, each instrument was made on its own track. So I could drink, I could bring these in individually like this. Or I could do them all at once by holding shift and selecting them. And then maybe using command even to get rid of the ones I don't want. And I can click and drag. Now you can see that it's trying to drop them in vertically, but we want to drop them in horizontally. So you could hit hold command and now it dropped it in horizontally. I can let go, and it made audio tracks for me for all those tracks, which is great. Let's go and right-click and rename this scene to Happy Day. And we'll set the tempo. Right-click, Edit Launch Tempo. And we're at 140 BPM. That's the original. Cool. So if I hit the Launch button or the Play button, we should be in time. Let's turn the metronome on first and hit play. Intro, two, three, four. Cool, so I've got all these multi-tracks going. Let's make them all the same color. I'm gonna shift, select all of them, right click, and choose a color. Awesome. Now, I've got my fader controls here where I can mute different instruments if I don't want them. You could solo different instruments. You can turn things down with the faders here. You could pan different instruments. Now what I'd recommend, what I'd recommend is I wouldn't actually adjust any of the faders here. Because what happens is then when you have more songs down this row, if you change the fader here, if you change the fader, the problem is it's going to change the volume for every single clip that you have in this track. So if you don't like the volume of something, what I'd recommend to do, what I'd recommend you to do is to just adjust the clip volume. So double click on the clip itself, and down here, there's a little volume control and you can click and adjust the volume of just that individual audio clip. So let's listen to that again. Intro, two, three, four. So say we want less of this pad here. I can double click on it, turn it down. Oh, I like that. Let's double click on that, let's turn it up. Cool. So you see what I'm saying? So now, instead of, also, instead of muting an entire channel, if you don't want this to be playing anymore, just right-click on the clip itself and go to Deactivate Clip. And now just that clip won't play. Let's go ahead and add another loop in here, or a multi-track. So um, let's do Jesus Messiah. See, here's all my multi-tracks. I'm going to select all of those. Command-click to drag them in. Right click, I can change the color. Let's do something a little different. Let's rename this to Jesus Messiah. And the tempo is 83. As you can see right here, it says 83. Let's hit play and it should be in time. Intro, two, three, four. Cool. So now let's just say we want to actually warp these tracks because we want to change the tempo of them. So I can warp them all at once. What you want to make sure you do is before you warp them, 
first of all, you select all the clips you're going to warp. So I'm going to hit sel uh, shift and select all the clips. Now before I hit this warp button, I need to make sure that the tempo box up here has the original tempo in it. Because we're going to warp it at the original tempo. If you don't warp it at the original tempo, your timing is going to be all off. So, if this were to say 125 and I hit warp, it would warp it at 125, which would be bad. So make sure, this is a part that trips a lot of people up, make sure that this says the original tempo. So 140, we're good. I can hit warp, and I'm going to go ahead and just automatically change all these to complex, and hit the play button. Intro. So all those clips are warped. I could change the tempo. I could also change. I could also change the key. If I just select the clips that I want to select, change the key. So because it's warped, I can transpose those clips and it'll all work perfectly. But you just have to make sure you warp it correctly. So that's a good way to use multi-tracks in Ableton Live. Now, if I wanted to kind of clean this up a little bit, I could highlight all those tracks, right click and go to group tracks. And now I have a group full of multi-tracks. And if you wanted, you could also rename all these to whatever instrument you have. In there. So let's say you have your acoustic guitars there. That's not really what I have in these tracks, but you get the idea. Hopefully that gives you a good starter on how to use multi-tracks in Ableton.